there. Here's a fun project, a cooking project you could do with your child, and it's making pumpkin bread there. So, cooking is so great to do with children. Yeah, it's a mess. Kids are going to make a mess. The flour is going to go all over the place. Just be ready for that. You're talking about numbers, and you're talking about math, and measuring, and ingredients, and they're getting their hands dirty with different things they may have not experienced, and different smells and tastes. They're really using their five senses. Put on an apron. Get an apron. You know, get an apron for your child. You can make an apron together. I got this one at a craft store. And then you can paint them together, or you could paint one. And then have a special place for that apron, maybe where yours are. And then a low place where your child can just go and hang it up, or they can take it off the hook and put it on too. It's hard for them to reach where you are. So unless you have a low counter that you're working from, if yours is kind of high like this, Make sure you pull over a chair, you can put a blanket on a chair, and push it up so that they can be in there with you, helping you, because that, they just love that, it's so much fun. And now we're making pumpkin bread, so there's lots of spices and fun to mix the dry ingredients in one bowl and the wet ingredients in another bowl. So I have glass bowls too, but I use plastic bowls when I'm with children, because you just never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> so it's part of the fun of it. So talk about with your child, now you're gonna get some flour, and then have your child scoop in there. You know, if you can let them scoop in there. And, and here's one cup. So it's one and three quarters. Talk about that with your child. We're going to get one and three quarters cup of flour. And then you can use your finger to level it off or a knife. You know, whatever you'd like to use. But a, a finger is fun because they get to get their fingers in it. And then they're going to pour it in the bowl. And now, of course, when kids pour things into bowls, sometimes you go all over the place. And I just say, just get it in the bowl the best you can do. It's all got to get in there. So then the next thing, you know, you, um, baking soda and salt and all those things are dry. And then we're going to push that aside and then we're going to get all the wet ingredients out and what those are. So, so this um, recipe calls for some pumpkin. So you can just buy a can of pumpkin. And that's what I did. I just bought a can of pumpkin. And it goes for, you know, a couple recipes, really. Also going to need some pumpkin pie spice. And you're going to put that in your dry ingredients as well. So you're going to get that all done. You're going to mix it all up together. You can talk about mixing it with a spoon together. You can even count how many times it takes to mix it all up. Or you're going to do it ten times and your child's going to do it ten times. You can sing the alphabet. Just bring all those fun things in together while you're mixing it all up. Okay, and then what we did at school actually is we made this pumpkin um, bread and then we put it in four of these small containers. You can use a bigger loaf pan, 40 minutes to an hour to cook it. And then you have this beautiful pumpkin.